Tank. Uh, tonight is our, the, the night that we uh, answer our uh, viewer mail, and we've been doing this every, uh, every Thursday or Friday since we've been on the air, and uh, certainly no exception, so that's what we're going to do here tonight. Are you ready, Paul? Absolutely ready. Oh, do we have the, the lovely, this is the Henry Mancini viewer mail theme, ladies and gentlemen. And to me, that sounds like the runner-up choice for Pee Wee's Playhouse. I mean, I like it just fine. It just doesn't seem like... It's, Here, it's no breakfast at Tiffany's. That Here we thing? go. Uh, these, by the way, are actual letters, ladies and gentlemen, from uh, actual viewers. Letter number one. Dear Dave, uh, every time I write to anyone at CBS, they always send me a letter personally written. I have never received anything in return for my many letters to NBC, your show included. Why is this? Does uh, being number one give GE an attitude? Just wondering... Phil Leslie, St. Mary's, Pennsylvania. Uh, good letter, Phil. No, uh, no, being, uh, being number three gives CBS a lot of free time. <laughs> what have I done? I've thrown away the silver mail. <laughs> What the hell is wrong with me tonight? Uh, oh, well, I have two. We'll, we'll gather the others later. I, I just momentarily took leave of my senses. That was nutty. That was crazy. Uh, letter number two. I'm just flying them like I'm nuts. Like it's a day at the beach. Uh, dear Dave, I would like to see more of those little horror skits that you do, uh, like the band turning into monsters and eating the audience. Yours truly, uh, Brandon Burchett, nine years, Sexsmith, Alberta, Canada. Sex Smith, what it says here. Uh, that's interesting, uh, like the band uh, turning into monsters and stuff. Yeah, well, I mean, we've done that occasionally where they become monsters. I, I don't know, we'll consider that. Monster, freak, beast, how long those words have haunted me. Spurned by humanity, I must dwell in my subterranean kingdom. And yet, though my exterior is hideous, is not my soul human? Though repulsive, do I not deserve to be treated as a man, are not these tears real? Excuse me, uh, a Anton, Anton, excuse me, that's all very touching, and I couldn't help overhearing your thoughts <laughs> since they're being piped through our PA system here, but, you know, uh, I really don't think you're a bad-looking guy at all, actually. You done? No. Have you looked in a mirror recently? No, not, not recently. Just hand to Anton the mirror. Take a look there. Actually, you're pretty good-looking as guys go. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Whoa, I'm really cute. Yeah. So I, I hope this changes your life now a little bit. Yeah, well, you know, first I'm going to move out of my subterranean kingdom. Uh-huh. Then I'm going to ask out a bunch of girls. Okay, that's great, Anton. Good luck. Good luck. Yeah, well, you know, girls love musicians. Well, I know they do. All right, Anton. Fine. Yeah, and I, I'm thinking I'm going to get real lucky, too. Okay, fine. Let's go. <laughs> kind of a little melodrama there. Yeah. The audience seemed to love it, though. <laughs> yeah, they did, didn't they? I think that, I think that is what America wants, ah, craves and needs. I see. Uh, letter number three. Dear Dave, my kids think your name is David Lemonade, Leslie Jacqua, <laughs> Monmouth, Oregon. <laughs> Isn't that the silliest thing you've ever heard, Paul? David Lemonade. But I can see where a, a youngster would get that impression, you know, how they would confuse the name. It's, Lemonade, um, Letterman. Sure, it's cute. Actually, it's true. <laughs> what? That is how your name appears no. in the credits these days. Really? Absolutely true. On the show? Yeah. No. Hal, show me the credits. Is that right? No, that can't possibly be. No, it is. It said lemonade. Hal, what, what, excuse me, Hal, what's going on in there? Uh, uh, nothing, Dave. Everything's all right. Everything's all right. No, you I mean, don't think just, that, just, that you know, he would ever use the... No. Yeah. Just trying to scare us. Watching, watching this show is like having a lifetime subscription to Mad Magazine. Uh, isn't I, was, it? <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> Where are we? Is it letter number four? Yeah. Wow, did you hear that? Chaos in the control room. Uh, and then when we get done, it's our final, I forgot to mention this, it's our final uh, Al Mars uh, box of thrills will be tonight. Our final installment. Yep. 
Uh, letter number four. Dear Dave, I was wondering, why do you always clear your desk with your hands when most of the time there's nothing even on it? Is it a habit? Just wondering, Renata Shuston, uh, Brooklyn, New York. Uh, well, that's a good question, Renata, and I guess from where you watch, you really can't see uh, anything on the desk, but I'm telling you, uh, there is a lot of stuff here crawling all over this desk. Apparently, look at that, we've had some kind of uh, infestation. Oh, these are those uh, barking desk maggots. They're just, yeah, you really can't uh, do much about it. It's just been horrible here lately. I think it's the cold weather. Is that the news from that? Do you hear that, Paul? Barking desk magnet maggots. Unbelievable. What things have come to today? All right, this is our last installment of uh, Al Mars' uh, Box of Frills. Al has been doing this now for how many weeks, Al? Four weeks. Four weeks, and uh, we've had some a lot of fun. We've had some laughs. We've had uh, some frightening experiences. Every evening it's loaded with some kind of stuff, and then you drop it down. Tonight will be the last installment, the last time you see this here. And before we release tonight's cargo, take a look now at a few moments from Al Mars' Box of Thrills. Is that a tear in your eye? No, uh, just something got in my eye. Oh, okay. <laughs> tonight is the uh, the final installment. What do we What do we have up there tonight, Al? Now we got something coming. Down. Okay. <laughs> should, I, uh, should I clear the area and get under the desk? What do you want me to do? Come over here with me. Over there with you? Yeah. All right. I'm going to be over there with Anton, with uh, Al Mar, Anton, for the uh, final Al Mar's box of thrills. All right. Uh, Go right ahead, Al, anytime. All right, I'll to go. Right here. Yeah, take it away. Oh, Al Mars, box of thrills. Watch yourself. <laughs> Of course, uh, we, we had the breakaway desk. Too bad we didn't get a breakaway camera. There's about 120,000 down the drain. Uh, Al, thanks for a great job, buddy. All right. Yeah, all right. Uh, we got a good show here tonight, kids. Tom Brokaw, Sam Kinison, and the man from uh, Great Britain who makes electric clothing. We'll be right back. Yeah.